In this lesson, we are going to talk about the principle of conservation of energy. These are learners' outcome. Principle of conservation of energy is one of the most fundamental principles for physics. The principle of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only changes from one form to another. So basically, it means that if you have a starting energy of 100 joules, you will always have 100 joules at the end. It will be exactly the same amount and no more or no less. However, the energy that you end up with may or may not be uh, the same or having a different form from your starting energy. So this is the second part, can only change us from one form to another. So examples of energy conversion. So for example, light to electrical, the best example is solar panels. So solar panels will take energy from the sun, which is light, and convert them into electrical energy. Chemical to electrical, this is also very common, which is actually battery. So you find that battery actually utilize the uh, chemical reaction within the battery itself to push electrons or generate electricity. Electrical to kinetic, something like motor. That means that for uh, using this picture, it shows that how uh, electrical cells, which actually generate electricity and is used to uh, turn things, okay, which is kinetic. Kinetic to electrical. So kinetic to electrical, one example is electrical generator. Generally, you use motion to try to generate electricity. So you, if you look at this picture, this person is cycling using some kinetic and is generating electricity. However, we can't see electricity, so you use the light to see as an example. Gravitational potential energy to kinetic. So one example is the pendulum, but we'll do more in that in more detail in uh, the next lesson. Another example is using a seesaw. If you see, look from this picture, okay, um, the, the person is actually converting gravitational potential energy of a higher height, and then it falls down and it causes kinetic motion on the other side to move a higher height and fall down and so on. So this is sort of an example of converting gravitational potential into kinetic and back and forth. Electrical to thermal, um, a simple example would be an electrical heater coil, something like this. So you just plug into the wall socket which would supply the electrical energy so that uh, it will cause this uh, coil to be heated up to help you to maybe boil water. Chemical to thermal, any burning of fuel generally is chemical to thermal. Uh, the energy, chemical potential energy within the wood is uh, lighted up and then it will continue to uh, cause chemical reaction to uh, generate thermal energy okay, or heat. And kinetic to thermal, the example given is friction. So if you look at this, the wheel is spinning and then as it rubs against the ground, it generates a lot of thermal uh, energy and sparks. Uh, electrical power stations generate the required power to power our modern living. Examples such as we need lights, uh, we turn on the TV, we use escalators and lifts to move from place to place. Whenever it's hot, too hot or too cold, we use heater or air conditioning to uh, regulate the temperature. For communication needs, we use computers, laptops, and handphones. Our cooking needs, so we have microwave ovens, or we use refrigerator to store our food. So, how do electrical power stations generate electricity? Find that one of the ways to generate electricity is through the use of oil. But how do we convert chemical potential energy in oil to electricity? Uh, there's actually not, no mysterious or complex signs in its usage in the power station you find that the oil is just burned to generate thermal energy. And the thermal energy is essentially used to boil water, just like in your kitchen. This is a simple picture of a power station. You find that oil or coal or fuel is actually burned to convert potential energy into thermal energy. So this is the part. Okay. So you find that it is used to uh, burn and convert into thermal energy. The thermal energy is used to boil water and change uh, it into moving steam. So water is introduced into the boiler and then 
after that it comes out as steam and the moving steam is used to uh, turn the turbine uh, over here so you find that the, ter uh, the thermal energy is converted into kinetic energy of the moving steam and the moving steam actually uh, is used to turn the turbine and in within the turbine itself okay is a generator so similar to the bicycle okay where you turn the bicycle wheel and it will generate electricity to uh, for our uh, send to home and factories and office to for various usage so the key to generate electricity is the turning of the turbine and the reason for different types of power plant is essentially using different methods to turn the turbine it's using oil, coal or natural gas or geothermal or even nuclear power stations is actually just utilizing whatever that we have uh, discussed okay, using heated steam to turn the turbine they are different just only because their fuel source is different but there are also other methods to turn the turbine using uh, wind or uh, moving water so this type is generally known as clean energy solar panel is the only one exception that does not generate electricity through turbine as it directly converts light energy into electricity okay this is a just a very simple simulation of how our electrical power station works so if you heat up the fuel and the fuel uh, and the heat is actually used to generate steam to turn up the uh, turbine and the turbine as it turns it will actually send electrical energy over to light up uh, a light bulb okay so this is a very simplified so the idea is that the energy from the heat is used to convert to electrical uh, kinetic energy or mechanical energy and then subsequently is used to turn and it will generate the blue electrical energy and then subsequently it generates uh, into light and thermal energy within the light bulb okay as mentioned the key is actually to turn the turbine so not necessary that we need to use a heated source we can use say a uh, moving water so if the moving water also provides the directly the kinetic energy to turn the turbine so and supply the electrical energy to uh, the light bulb so the key is to turn the turbine so uh, for this case this one is similar to the hydroelectric dam however note that the electrical energy is generally not the final form of energy that is useful to us um, converting to electrical energy to in power station is actually to help us to transfer energy from the power station to the homes or office to the factory more easily but after transferring to the home office and factory we then convert electrical energy back to the different forms of energy that are required so there are some examples that the energy form that we use such as uh, light energy in TV laptops or computers kinetic energy such as uh, fans uh, lifts escalators to bring us to different places or washing machine to turn the clothes thermal uh, like water heaters uh, ovens or hair dryers or even chemical potential energy which then we convert electricity to try to store and charge our batteries so that we can bring our handphones and our tablets out okay um, as we know principle of conservation initiatives that energy cannot be created or destroyed but only changes from one form to another which means that whenever you take a lift you switch on the TV you use the internet to watch this video you switch on the air conditioning or heater you are using up the energy and this energy that you're using actually have to come from somewhere so the energy that you use come from the electricity comes from the kinetic energy of the turning of the turbine comes from kinetic energy of moving steam and comes from the thermal energy and of course comes from the chemical potential energy fuel that you use so that somewhere actually of course comes from the power stations and if our power stations rely on burning of fossil fuels such as oil or coal to generate electricity it will cause pollution yes. which means that each of us is part of the climate change problem if we continue to use energy in a wasteful manner but however we can do our part by lessening pollution but by managing our electricity or energy usage prudently so this is the end of the lesson 
please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.